is Jamie in Sherwood. Again, if you'd like to ask a question, just put your name in the chat, please. First is Megan Kane. Um, so most teams just told me that, uh, you know, they just wanted to see me move. They just wanted to see me run, you know, just actually get a feel for me. You know, they saw what I could do on the field and stuff like that. Uh, most teams weren't sure if I would be a box safety uh, or a backside linebacker. Um, but today, you know, I felt like I, I put on a good show, especially when we got to the drill part. So, you know, I felt like I opened or answered any questions, you know, that they didn't have answered yet. Uh, me personally, you know, I could do both of them in the way that I, I moved today. You know, I feel like they think the same. Next question from Raphael Haynes. Hey, Jamie, I'm Raphael from the three point conversion. Are there any safeties in the NFL that you have patterned your game after? And then also, which safeties do you like if you have a whether you pattern or not? But which safeties do you like and like to watch? Um, so I never actually like compare myself to any of the safeties. You know, I, I like to think of myself as unique, you know, one of a kind. You know, most people think of themselves the same way. But, you know, I like to watch Jamal Adams' game. You know, I can compare my game to his. Like, you know, we could do similar things. Same thing as Cam Chancellor. You know, they get their opportunities to play close to the line of scrimmage, you know, and they're both so big guys. You know, I weighed 216 today, and, you know, they're, they're pretty heavy as well. You know, they could they could come up in the box and hit you. They can blitz. You know, they could draw back in coverage, get interceptions, you know, make plays on the hash, you know, on the sideline, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, safeties I like to look up to, you know, Derwin James is a great one. You know, I can't wait to watch him this upcoming season. You know, I loved him at Florida State. And Justin Simmons as well, Denver, you know, he's a great uh, – Safety, great communicator. You know, I look at look at him a lot. Watch his films. You know, just the plays he makes. He's a very exceptional player. You know, and you can learn a lot from him just watching or listening. Next question is from Jason Butt. Um, yes, sir. So, I mean, today uh, he, he just he just proved it, uh, how fast he was. You know, everybody thought he was going to run anything in the 4-2. So, you know, he ran his first one, you know, he was already blazing. And then just to watch him run the second one, you know, it was like don't blink type deal. You know, he was getting out of there. Um, you know, maybe like sophomore year or probably junior year, once we got back from quarantine, you know, we probably lined up a couple times one-on-one. -on -one. You know, he probably went on the fade ball. Um, it's different with pads of him. So, you know, I got the best of him that rep. But, uh yeah, you know, he's a great player. You know, he's he's lightning fast. So, you know, whoever gets him at the next level, you know, won't go wrong with him. You know, he's going to be a great piece to anybody's puzzle. Next, Thanks. Sorry. Next question is from Alex Fleming. Enforcer, you know, I like to hit, you know, I like to put it on people, you know, ball hawk is great, you know, I love to get my hands on the ball as well, get my chance to score, uh, you know, sometimes or most of the times, you know, you always don't get those opportunities, but you always get an opportunity to hit someone every play, so, you know, every chance I'm on that field, you know, I'm bringing it to someone, whether it's a lineman, fullback, running back, whoever it is, you know, when I get my chance, I'm taking my shot. Next question, Matthias Cornell. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, as a safety, you're the last line of defense. So it's like if he breaks through the first line of defense, which is the D line, then he breaks through our linebackers. You know, it's just me back there, especially if it's we got three deep. You know, I'm that middle of the field guy. You know, I want to win. So, you know, it's my job to get him down. So at all costs, you know, get him down. If I got to pull his hair, pull his jersey, whatever it takes. Uh, so like me just getting like those those games with uh, double digits, you know, it's just just me playing football. And like I said, you know, I just got to get them on the ground, you know, whatever it takes, you know, to get them down. Thank you, Kyle. Good luck. Thank you. Next is Mark Murphy. Hey, Jamie, I saw your numbers. You had great standing vertical, really good uh, vertical jump, but you didn't have a good 40 time. Uh, you know, what are you going to be able to tell Pro Scouts about that? Because I thought you were probably faster. Uh, 
so my first one, I uh, stumbled a little bit. Uh, the second one was a little bit better. At the end of the day, I'm not really worried about the 40. You know what I mean? It says a lot about a person, but I mean, it doesn't say everything. I think I played great these past few years, you know. My motto is, you know, how you stop speed anyway, you hit it. So, I mean, you can run a 4-1, but once you run into a wall, you know, it comes to an end. Jacob and Fontaine. Hey, Jamie, how you doing? Good, you? Doing good. Uh, so you measured in with 34-inch arms, which is actually uh, the longest arms for a defensive back in over 15 years. Uh, can, you, can you speak a little bit about that length and what advantage that gives you? Uh, so, I mean, just like, I mean, that's just the way I was born. Uh, growing up, I pretty, I pretty much had, like, always the longest arms, the biggest wingspan. Uh, to my advantage, you know, when, like, play fighting with your friends, you know, you can always hit them from wherever. Uh, but even then, like, on the playing field, you know, just, like, whether you're an oppressed man, you know, having those long arms, those jumper cables, you know, it helps you at the line of scrimmage. Uh, even if someone's far away, you know, like, just reaching for them. So, I mean, just having arms these long, you know, it just comes in handy. Uh, you know, you always, if something's high up, like, for your mom, like, in the house, can't get it on the refrigerator or above the cabinet, you know, you always got these for you. So, I'm always a handyman around the house, but, I mean, you know, I mean, I can't really say too much, you know, I'm just blessed to have them. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. We've got time for probably three more questions for Jamie, and next is Brennan Rupp. Uh, for me, you know, for NFL, you know, I could bring a lot to him. You know, a great communicator at a safety position or a linebacker position. Um, you know, just someone who's full of energy, high energy, special on that practice field. You know, it's like I'm in the locker room. You know, I'm a different person. I get on that field, I'm an even different person. I'm an even different animal. You know, when I'm in those white lines, you know, I just want to play football. I just want to win, and I want to do it with my brothers. So you know, you just you just have that all around great person. Uh, great friend, you know, just someone you want to be with and be around, uh, someone you want to coach. And, you know, I just, like I said, I bring that excitement to the to the locker room, to my teammates, and, you know, I just like to have fun. Question from Nathan King. Hey, Jamie, I wanted to ask about a guy from the safety room last year who might be filled into your spot, Chris Thompson. What did you see out of him in his first season, and what do you think he still has to improve on? So, Chris, uh, he, he's a big safety as well. Um, actually, you know, I, I got to hang out with him a lot while I was here this past year. You know, he has all the potential in the world. You know, he just has to work at it. Uh, I don't think he needs to, like, do anything because, like, he's possibly bad at something. You know, everybody just has to work to get better. I mean, if you want to get to the next level, you have to work anyway. Uh, I think he's going to be a great player when it's his time to come. You know, he has this season. He has this offseason to just put his head down and work. And, you know, when it's his time to be up on, on, on this stage, you know, I think he's going to kill it. You know, I think he's going to kill it his next two years. I think he'll be three and done as well. And last question for Jamian is from Raphael Hamm. Hey, Jamie, uh, I wanted to ask you, what is your inspiration as far as playing football and getting here? Like, what was that inspiration, you know, getting you to this point? Was it family member situation? Anything you can share? I mean, no. I mean, I felt like I came from a great family, great stable home. Uh, my main thing is just being successful in life, you know. Uh, this, is, this is just something I dreamed of, everybody's dreamed of. So, you know, you always want to accomplish every goal like you've dreamed of. You want to reach every achievement. And at the end of the day, you know, you just want to lay your head on your pillow, not having to worry. So, you know, if I could just get to this, get to this point in my life, you know, obviously I'm going, if I could get to this pro day, I'm going to make it to the NFL. And then, you know, once I get there, you know, I just got to keep working. And, you know, I just want to be successful at the end of the day, like I said. Take care of my family. Take care of myself. And, you know, just live happy. Be free. Thank you very much, Jamie. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Next up will be KJ Britt.